Well, we're on to 4.4. Given a scenario, to apply proper automation and orchestration techniques. So, um, th once again, this is CompTIA Cloud Plus. Uh, this is part of 4.0 Operations and Support, which is 22% of the CompTIA Cloud Plus exam. Uh, we're getting this stuff right from the exam objectives. So here, 4.4, get a scenario, apply proper automation and orchestration techniques. Sweet. So, automation or orchestration. So infrastructure is code. So uh, being able to take the infrastructure and components and their uh, integration and putting it into a, a code document, the YAML, uh, and allowing it to uh, set itself up. And then when things change, you just reapply it and you have you can have continuous integration and, and deployment. Uh, so you still need a version control um, and understand your configuration management. What's the playbook? How do you, how you do you do things uh, in that environment? Containers, uh, they can also have the, the recipe to set them up. Uh, how are things automated? Uh, and then how do you handle routine operations? So like updates, uh, once again, you need to have your policy and, and, uh, your shoot your, your playbook, uh, procedures, policy and procedures on how you apply updates. What about scaling when things scale up and down? Do you keep track of that? Do you alert? Uh, I I've kept track of my systems in the past. I like to know that they're scaling up and, and down and that things are working properly. And if I hear a complaint, did it happen around that time? Uh, shutdown. Uh, how do you handle sh shutdown? What's the procedure? Um, restarting. Uh, you know, it's funny. I've seen um, people say, oh, there's nothing wrong with my application. And then something happens and it's hardware and everything reboots and their thing's not running anymore because they didn't set it up to auto boot. So make sure your stuff handles restarts well. Make sure it auto boots if it should, which most things should. And create internal APIs to call things back and forth. Okay, um, what about secure scripting? <laughs> Excuse me, make sure you don't hard code passwords. Um, so how do you deal with it without hard coding a password? Most cloud uh, environments allow you to set parameters uh, and to have a parameter store for you, you to put passwords and stuff in. So it's in memory and you can use it, but it's not on disk uh, and not in code. It's not, yeah, make sure wherever you put your passwords, they don't show up on GitHub. Um, it's amazing how many do and hackers love that. So just don't do that. Um, make sure you keep passwords and things like that out of your, your stuff that you commit, uh, use individual service accounts. Don't have, uh, and an all powerful account. This is such a pain though, but it it's, it's the better thing to do. Have individual service accounts. So if, so if something gets compromised, they can only compromise that section, not everything. Use password vaults um, so that things are, are stored uh, in an encrypted format. Um, there's, I, I don't like that still, even, yeah, because just like this the one in memory, yeah, it's another layer, but if your application needs the password, hackers have access to that. So just a heads up, because the hackers can read stuff in memory or they can replay the code. So it, you're doing your best to make it as difficult as possible. But if, if you're in, if your device gets comp, uh, compromised, your, your server, your passwords are not safe, um, it, from good hackers, at least not that I'm aware of, uh, because they have to, it's in memory. So a uh, key based authentication. So make sure that, uh, instead of using passwords to get in and out, use keys uh, whenever possible. They're more, they're, it's a better method. You still have to manage your keys, um, but use key-based authentication. Most places don't allow, uh, big places don't allow passwords to get into the servers. So you, you have to use keys. 
and you can manage them better. Um, orchestrate, uh, do you do the sequencing of the organization, how, what things go in what order. So anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Uh, just in case I didn't do it, I better uh, come here. So we just did uh, this from the exam objectives. So, uh, so proper automation, uh, automation orchestration techniques. Have a good one.